Hi KSI 2025 aspirants, I hope all of you are doing really well and in today's video we are going to solve 30 questions of one of the very very high weightage topic that is aldehydes, ketones and carboxylic acid, okay. So let's get started with the first question here, which of the following has the most acidic hydrogen, okay. So if you see I draw the structure of this hexane 2,4-diene, right. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So hexane 2, 3, 4, okay. So here I will get a negative charge, okay. If I remove this uh, negative uh, one hydrogen, here I will get a negative charge hydrogen and this negative charge is highly stable, why? Because it can undergo resonance on both the sides, okay. So that is why this is the most acidic option number B. Next, the best reagent for the following transformation. So you can see here this CO group is reduced to CH2. So this is aldehydes or ketones getting reduced to hydrocarbons and the reagents used for this process is either your Wolf-Kissner or your Clemenson reduction. But now if you see that this is an OH medium, acidic medium. So we, if you, so we need to have a basic medium for that. So sorry, one second. Yes, so basic medium is present in KOH, you know this OH can behave as a uh, acidic, right, it can release H+. So we need a basic medium for that, so that is why option number A here. Okay, now before going to the next question, here I have something big for you. So we, you know that we at this last 15 days mock test are very, very critical. So to help you with this, we have launched the best mock test series in our, uh, like in the market that is our Abhyas KSA 2025 test series. It has 35 mock tests, which includes both part test and full length test for the subject physics, chemistry, maths and bio. You will be getting one shot revision videos, doubt clarification classes and detailed video solutions for all all the mock test so already many students have registered and are ahead of you in the preparation so if you also want to be in that top thousand rank then definitely you must buy this the link is there in the description section so please go there and practice mock test from this test series okay now next question formalin is an aqueous solution of so formalin is an aqueous solution of flora uh, sorry formaldehyde okay next the correct order of reactivity of ph mg br so always you should remember aldehydes are more reactive than ketones okay and reactivity reactivity is inversely proportional to hindrance Okay. So, if hindrance is more, reactivity will be less. So, first of all, I can find that this is your aldehyde. So, this one will be more reactive, two will be more reactive. So, I have only one option with that, then definitely option number C. But after two, you can see here I have ketone group and here I have more bulkier groups. So, two, three and then one. Okay, next question, the pair in which both the compounds gives you a positive test with tolerance uh, reagent. So first of all, sucrose will not give, right, because it does not have any free aldehyde group. Glucose and fructose both will give because they have a free aldehyde group, so option number B here. Next, the which one is most reactive towards a nucleophilic addition reaction? So again, nucleophilic addition reaction, aldehydes are more reactive. So here I have an aldehyde, here I have a ketone, here I have an aldehyde and here also I have an aldehyde. Now see, nucleophilic, nucleophile will uh, attack on this one, so the ring should be electrophilic. And if I see this NO2 group is an electron withdrawing group, right, so it will pull the electron density, this, this ring is more electrophilic, so nucleophile will be attacking here fastest, so that is why option number D here. Next, assertion, reason, uh, question, carbonyl compounds undergo nucleophilic addition reaction, like alkene, double bond CO is nucleophilic, no, if you see C double bond O, okay, this is electrophilic carbon. This carbon is electrophilic in nature. So that is why assertion is definitely correct, but reason is not true. So option number C here. Next, upon reductive ozonolysis of 2-methyl-but-2-ENE, the compounds obtained are. So if I have 2-methyl-but-2-ENE, um, so I have this one, okay, 2-methyl-but-2-ENE and if I am breaking this one, I will attach one oxygen on this side and one oxygen on this side. So I will get this compound double bond oxygen here and I will get oxygen here. So one I will get acetone and one I will get ethanol. So that is option number D, okay, methanol and propanol. 
नेक्स्ट वी हैव हियर सॉरी नाइन्थ वन एन अल्कोहल एक्स लेट मी सी यस एन अल्कोहल एक्स अपॉन ऑक्सीडेशन विद पी सी सी गिव्स अ कार्बोनिल कंपाउंड वाई दैट गिव्स पॉजिटिव आयोडोफॉर्म टेस्ट द एल्कोहल इज सो फॉर पॉजिटिव आयोडोफॉर्म टेस्ट यू नीड टू हैव दिस ग्रुप सी एच थ्री सी ओ ग्रुप राइट इफ दिस ग्रुप इज प्रेजेंट देन आई विल गेट पॉजिटिव आयोडोफॉर्म टेस्ट सो फॉर मिथेनॉल इट इज नॉट देर बिकॉज आई नीड एटलीस्ट टू कार्बन पेंटेन वन ओ एल इफ आई सी पेंटेन वन ओ एल इट विल बी बी लाइक दिस वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव पेंटेन वन ओ एल राइट सो इफ दैट इज कन्वर्टेड टू एल डी हेड वी विल गेट दिस वन सो देर इज नो सी एच थ्री सी एच ओ ग्रुप दिस वन पेंटेन टू ओ एल इफ आई सी राइट एंड दिस वन इफ इट इज गेटिंग कन्वर्टेड टू एल्कोहल और सॉरी किटोन्स यू विल फाइंड दिस वन पेंटेन टू ओ एनी सो ऑप्शन नंबर सी हियर नेक्स्ट द ऑर्डर ऑफ रिएक्टिविटी ऑफ एसिटोन एसिटाइल डी हाइड बेन्जोफिनॉन विद ग्रिग्नार रिएजेंट इज सो इफ यू सी एसिटोन ओके एसिटाइल डी हाइड एंड बेन्जोफिनॉन सो ऑर्डर ऑफ रिएक्टिविटी डेफिनेटली एल डी हाइड्स आर मोर रिएक्टिव सो टू विल बी हाइएस्ट वी कैन एलिमिनेट दिस टू ऑप्शन ओके ना इफ यू सी बेन्जोफिनॉन मीन्स टू साइड बेन्जिन रिंग एंड वी हैव एसिटोन सी एच थ्री सी एच थ्री ऑन टू साइड सो दैट इज लेस टेरिक सो आफ्टर टू इट विल बी वन देन इट विल बी थ्री सो ऑप्शन नंबर सी हियर नेक्स्ट आई यू पी एस सी नेम ऑफ द एल्डोल फॉर्म बाय द रिएक्शन ऑफ एसिटाइल डी हाइड विथ डायल्यूट एल्कैली सो इफ आई एम रिएक्टिंग एसिटाइल डी हाइड ओके टू मॉलिक्यूल्स ऑफ एसिटाइल डी हाइड विल रिएक्ट वट विल हैपन दिस वन विल कनेक्ट हियर आई हैव टोल्ड यू हाउ टू ड्रॉ द प्रोडक्ट सो येस सो हियर वी विल हैव दिस वन हाइड्रोजन यू हैव टू रिमूव ब्रेक दिस बॉन्ड एंड एड अ हाइड्रोजन हियर सो प्रोडक्ट विल बी सी एच थ्री सी एच ओ एच सी एच टू एंड सी ओ एच ओके सो वन टू थ्री फोर सो इट इज थ्री हाइड्रोक्सी ब्यूटा नल सो दैट इज ऑप्शन नंबर बी नेक्स्ट एन ए एच एस ओ थ्री फॉर्म्स एंड एडक्ट विथ ऑल द कंपाउंड एक्सेक्ट सो यू नो ग्लूकोज डज नॉट फॉर्म एन एडक्ट कंपाउंड सो दैट इज ऑप्शन नंबर डी हियर ओके नेक्स्ट असर्शन ट्राई क्लोरो एसिटा एल डी हाइड डज नॉट अंडर गो एल्डोल कंडेंसेशन प्रेजेंस ऑफ एल्फा हाइड्रोजन टू कार्बोनिल ग्रुप इज अ मस्ट फॉर एल्डोल कंडेंसेशन यस ट्राई क्लोरो एसिटा एल डी हाइड सो दैट मीन्स यू हैव ट्राई क्लोरो एसिटा एल डी हाइड राइट सो दैट इज द असर्शन डेफिनेटली ट्रू बिकॉज देर इज नो एल्फा हाइड्रोजन सो असर्शन इज ट्रू एंड रीजन इज द एक्सप्लेनेशन नेक्स्ट एसिटोन इज ट्रीटेड विथ एक्सेस ऑफ इथेनॉल इन प्रेजेंस ऑफ एच सी एल द प्रोडक्ट ऑप्टेंड इज सो वेन यू हैव एसिटोन एंड इट इज ट्रीटेड विथ एक्सेस ऑफ एल्कोहल सो दैट विल गिव यू एसिटल प्रोडक्ट राइट सो ओ सी टू एच टू फाइव ओ सी टू एच टू फाइव दिस इज योर एसिटल सो ऑप्शन नंबर डी ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन हियर सी एच थ्री सी एच ओ एंड सी सिक्स एच फाइव सी एच टू सी एच ओ कैन बी डिस्टिंग्विश केमिकली बाई सो हियर आई हैव दिस इफ यू सी आई हैव दिस ग्रुप राइट सी एच थ्री सी ओ ग्रुप इज प्रेजेंट विच कैन बी आइडेंटिफाई आयोडोफॉर्म टेस्ट सो ऑप्शन नंबर बी हियर नेक्स्ट इथानॉल इज द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ सो इफ यू सी दिस इज योर रोजन मॉन रिएक्शन थ्रू वन आई कैन डेफिनेटली गेट इथेनॉल फ्रॉम हियर ऑल्सो विथ एच जी एंड एच टू एस ओ फोर यू कैन गेट इथेनॉल एंड हियर इफ आई जस्ट ब्रेक दिस वन आई गेट टू मॉलिक्यूल्स ऑफ इथेनॉल सो ए बी एंड सी ऑल ऑफ देम विल गिव सो ऑप्शन नंबर डी हियर नेक्स्ट द ब्रैड इज रिएजेंट सो आई एम टेलिंग यू दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू फोर डाई नाइट्रोफिनाइल बेन्जिन विच वी कॉमनली से एज टू फोर डी एन पी राइट सो दैट इज द आंसर ऑप्शन नंबर डी हियर नेक्स्ट द प्रोडक्ट यू हैव टू फाइंड आउट हियर सी एच थ्री सी ओ ओ एच विथ एसओ सी एल टू सो ए विल बी वॉट हियर ओ एच विल बी रिप्लेस्ड विथ सी एल सो आई विल गेट सी एच थ्री सी ओ सी एल देन बेन्जिन विथ एन हाइड्रस ए एल सी एल थ्री फ्रिडिल क्राफ्ट असाइलेशन रिएक्शन सो आई विल गेट बेन्जिन एंड सी ओ सी एच Three and if I do HCN cyanohydrin, what I will get? I will get here C O H C N and this side I have C H three. Now with hydrolysis, what will happen? This C N will get converted to C O O H group. So I have one carbon with C O O H group O H and C H three. Three groups are attached, right? So I can find here O H C O O H and C H three. So definitely my answer is option number. D. 
Next, in a set of reactions, acetic anhydride yielded a product D. Okay, so we have uh, acetic acid. Sorry. So similar reaction. I think uh, the same question got repeated. So this is D only. Next, we have match the following. So sodium benzoate. You know, it is used as a fruit preservative. So A with two, so I can eliminate B and D. Now benzoic acid is an aromatic compound. Aromatic compounds are often used in perfumery. So B is one. And I have B is one, so option number C here. Then formic acid is used in nylon uh, six six, and acetic acid is used in vinegar, right? So C is four. Uh, sorry, uh, yes, C is sorry. Formic acid is used in rubber industry. Sorry, yes. So formic acid, rubber industry, and D is your vinegar. Okay. So let's see the next question now. The IUPAC name of the given compound. Okay, so if you see this compound, if I want to number it, so I can have first, right, second, and third. Now I have a substituent on first carbon, second carbon, and third carbon, right? So I can name it as propane one two three tri carboxylic acid. Option number C. Okay, I hope this is clear. Next. Okay, you have to find the product here. HCHO plus CH3CHO in presence of dilute NaOH and heating. So this will give you what aldol condensation, right? So we have this product that is uh, HCHO, and I have CH3COH. I will connect this one. So I will get here. Uh, First of all, CH2, CHOH. Then here there will be a double bond. So I will get CH2 double bond, and then CH, and then I have COH. Okay. Now once this is formed, you will get this is as A. Then we have HCN. Oh, HCN will do what? OH and CN, right? It will add CN group. So I will get here OH and CN. Now if I do hydrolysis of this one, I will get CN will get converted to COOH, right? So I should have COOH and OH on one carbon. So this is the option number A here. Okay. Next, IUPAC name of cinnamic acid. So if you see cinnamic acid, we have three phenyl prop two enoic acid. That is the uh, name. So we have this one. I have OH prop two en, and on this side I have Three phenyl group two n oic acid option number A. Next, which of the following will reduce Tollens reagent? So your methanoic acid HCOH can reduce both Tollens reagent and felling solution. Okay. The relative order of acidic strength of the benzoic acid, orthotolvic acid, and paratolvic acid. So basically, if we have an electron donating group, the acidity decreases. Right? All of you know this, but in case of ortho substituted benzoic acid the acidity always increases and this is the consequence of something called as ortho effect okay so due to ortho effect ortho tolvic acid will have more acidity so we can remove other two options now after that we have here benzoic acid and para tolvic acid now in para tolvic acid what will happen ch3 is a electron donating group so it acidity will decrease and the benzoic acid is a neutral one now in this ortho tolvic acid you might question that ch3 is also electron donating group but here because of ortho effect its acidity is more so option number d here Next, if I see this one, that is C six H five C double bond O N H two. Okay, this is my P. Now, when I treat it with NaOBr, that is your Hoffman bromamide degradation, you can write in the form of Br two NaOH. So it will give you NaOBr and HBr. So this is P, and Q will be C six H five N H two. Okay, that is your Q. Now, when you heat it with concentrated uh, sulfuric acid at this much temperature, so I will have C six H five N H two, and the para position will be replaced with S O three H. Okay, so this is my sulfonylic acid. So I will have option number C here. Okay, next. The distinguished test between methanoic acid and ethanoic acid. So, if you know, methanoic acid will give positive test for Tollens test. So, that is why option number D. Okay. Next, we have CH3 COCl with red uh, phosphorus and chlorine. That is your HBZ reaction. So, I will get CH2 here. This one Cl and I have CO 
O H. After that, once we get A, we have to replace excess of N H 3 if you give, what will happen? This one will be replaced with N H 2. Okay. So, now I have a compound like this C where I have H, I have H, I have N H 2 and I have C O O H. Okay. So, now this type or this compound is called as your glycine. So, option number A here. Okay. Next, uh, coming to this question, you have SOCl2. So, SOCl2 will replace this OH with the Cl group. So, I will get here uh, COCl and Br. Okay. After that, if you have NH3, this chlorine will be replaced. So, I have this one that is CO, NH2 and I have Br here. Right now, if you have Br2 and NaOH, that is your Hoffman bromamide degradation. So that will convert this CONH2 group will be replaced with NH2 group and Br group. Okay, so option number C here, NH2 and Br. Next, acetic acid is treated with calcium hydroxide, and the product so obtained is subjected to dry distillation. The final product here is so if I have calcium hydroxide. Okay, CaOH whole 2 and you are reacting it with acidic acid, right? So, I will write like this. It is CH3, COOH and you have calcium hydroxide, okay? So, you will get CH3, COO whole 2 calcium, uh, uh, calcium acetate, right? So, that means Ca, I have O. CO CH3 and I have O CO and CH3. Okay, so now what happens here? There is dehydration taking place, and finally you will get acetone as one of the product. This part, okay, CH3 CO CH3, and this forms another part. CaCO3 will form. So we will have option number A here. Okay, so these were the top 30 questions from acids. Uh, sorry. Uh, aldehydes, ketones and carboxylic acid. I hope you have understood these all questions. Any doubt in any question, please put down in the comment section. I will definitely address to it. These are high weightage topics, so please do not miss this video. Okay.